Hi, my name is Sean Farrell, and welcome to the January 2022 edition of This Month at the Library. I'll be walking you through this month's events here at the Avalon Free Public Library and the Avalon History Center, along with other area news and programs. And at the end, I'll highlight some of the new books and movies arriving at the library this month, so make sure to stick around for that. But first, in library news. The library will be undertaking a reorganization project this month that will take place across our adult material sections. Some categories have already been moved, like video games, but all will now see some changes. Most notable will be that the adult fiction books will no longer be separated out by genres and will be combined into one larger all-purpose section. This should make it easier to find the author you want. While this process is taking place, we ask you to forgive any mess it may create, and remember to please ask for assistance if you are having difficulty locating materials. Additionally, the library's Sunday hours are being reduced to 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. All other days will remain unchanged, though the library and history center will be closed on Saturday, January 1st, in recognition of New Year's Day. Scrabble Night returns on Monday, January 3rd. This event will occur each month on the first and third Mondays from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Gather up your own team or come in to see who you can play a game or two with. Our kids' program, Stories and Songs, is moving to Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Join Miss Linda as she reads aloud from popular picture books and leads sing-alongs. On January 5th at 10 a.m., our Well Wednesday program will guide participants through Creative Bugs Handmade Soap Workshop. Learn the basic recipe of soap making and wrap a unique piece for personal use or gift giving. No registration is required and refreshments will be available for takeout. Kathy Zane is back to teach you all about Apple iPad OS 15 on January 6th at 2.30 p.m. See what's new on the latest operating system for these popular devices. Our drop-in tech workshops return on January 7th from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Pop in at any point during that time with any question you may have about your Windows computer or Android smartphone, and I will do my best to help you out. On January 8th at 1 p.m. in the 39th Street Tennis Building, the History Center will present a lecture on the lighthouses of New Jersey. Topics include lighthouse keepers, governance, purpose, and how weather affects lighthouses. Historical facts about New Jersey lighthouses and keepers who were women who will be highlighted. This program is presented by the New Jersey Lighthouse Society. Our next Art House Film Night is Monday, January 10th at 5 p.m. and will feature the 2019 Chinese film, The Wild Goose Lake, which follows a gangster on the run who sacrifices everything for his family and a woman he meets while on the lam. This film is not rated, but contains mature content. Award Season Film Night resumes on Tuesday, January 11th at 6 p.m. The first title screen will be Denny Villeneuve's sci-fi epic, Dune, which has so far won 40 awards and received 104 nominations from various organizations and groups. This will be followed up on Thursday, January 20th at 6 p.m. with Spencer, which has thus far garnered 19 wins and 61 nominations, mostly for Kristen Stewart's performance as, Prince as Princess Diana. Note that these titles are subject to change due to availability. On Saturday the 15th at 10 a.m., Miss Linda will guide kids through the process of making a birdhouse, which they can then take home with them to help shelter our feathered friends this winter. Dr. John Francis, author of Planet Walker, 22 Years of Walking, 17 Years of Silence, will be here on January 15th at 2 p.m. to discuss his book, which tells the story of scaling mountain ranges, crossing barren deserts, and seeing America from the Pacific to the Atlantic. His book also describes how he hiked across Cuba and Brazil and visited Alaska and Antarctica. Francis earned college, graduate, and doctorate degrees during these years, ultimately settling in the Cape May area with his family. A Q&A will follow the lecture. In honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, during our operating hours of 9.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday, January 17th, we will be accepting donations for local organizations and offering information about how you can donate time as well. Items suggested for the Holy Redeemer Food Pantry include unopened and non-expired, non-perishable food items and toiletries. Items suggested for the Cape May County Animal Shelter include pet food and supplies, large milk bones, peanut butter, dog shoes and treats, blankets, sheets, pet beds, towels and washcloths, dog and cat toys, cat treats, cat food, scratching posts, and clay cat litter. On Tuesday, January 18th at 6 p.m., Kathy Zane will help users learn about Apple's accessibility options, such as increasing the text size, having text read aloud, and much more. Well, Wednesday on January 19th at 10 a.m., we'll focus on habit change with guest presenter Valerie Driscoll. 
Whatever the habit you want to kick, the habit change strategies are the same and require developing a new set of skills. This 60-minute workshop will introduce you to some of the most powerful skills in the habit change toolbox and explore how you can start incorporating them into your life. Registration is not required and refreshments will be available for takeout. On January 22nd, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Alexis Flack will show users how to make a tree print notebook and bookmark. Inspired by nature, they are perfect for tucking into a purse or favorite book. Registration is required and is already open for Avalon property owners. All others can register beginning on January 5th. You can sign up by emailing programs at avalonfreelibrary.org, stopping by the front desk, or calling us at 609-967-7155. Our popular Predict the Oscars program returns on Monday, January 24th at 5 p.m. We will watch clips and trailers from the movies that are frontrunners to pick up an Oscar nomination on February 8th, and then you can vote on which you think will actually get them. Whoever gets the most predictions correct could win a prize. And to round out the month on January 31st at 5.30 p.m., I will show attendees how to access and use the various apps that are available to patrons with their library cards, like Libby, Hoopla, Canopy, Press Reader, The New York Times, and Creative Bug. The winner of this year's annual Beach Tag Design Contest is Avalon Elementary School 6th grader Anthony Harris. The announcement was made by Mayor Pagliugli at the school on December 17th, where he also presented Anthony with a commemorative plaque signed by the mayor, along with the first beach tag of the 2022 season. This marks the 24th year that the contest has been held in conjunction with the school. Press of Atlantic City meteorologist Joe Martucci partnered with Avalon's Volunteer Floodplain Management Committee to create a video explaining the differences between minor, moderate, and major tidal flooding, and to discuss how they each impact our town. You can check it out at bit.ly slash avtides. And now for a look at some of the great books coming to the library this month. Noah Hawley, the author of Before the Fall, returns with Anthem, which follows a band of unlikely heroes as they set out to save one innocent life and might end up saving us all. In The School for Good Mothers, author Jessamine Chan tells the story of a young mother who, after one lapse in judgment, winds up in a government reform program where custody of her child hangs in the balance. In the follow-up to his acclaimed novel, A Little Life, Hanya Yanagahira takes us to an alternate 1893 New York, an AIDS-ravaged 1993 Manhattan, and a dystopian 2093. Christy Demeester's thriller, Such a Pretty Smile, follows two women in two different times who both must fend for their lives against a force that comes for young women who refuse to conform. Popular historical fiction author Fiona Davis returns with The Magnolia Palace about the secrets, betrayal, and murder within one of New York City's most impressive Gilded Age mansions. And some of the movies coming to the library this month include The first part of visionary director Denis Villeneuve's sprawling Dune adaptation sees a young Paul Atreides begin to discover his destiny as his family is taken from him. Michael Myers returns to continue stalking the Strodes and the residents of Haddonfield in Halloween Kills, the middle film in David Gordon Green's reboot trilogy. Kristen Stewart stars as Princess Diana in Pablo Lorraine's acclaimed biopic, which transpires over the course of a royal family Christmas in Spencer. In Mass, two sets of parents meet to talk over the causes and effects of a violent tragedy that has forever changed all of their lives. Director Edgar Wright's latest, Last Night in Soho, follows an aspiring fashion designer who finds herself able to enter the 1960s, where things begin glamorously but wind up taking a dark turn. That's it for this month. Have a happy new year. I'm Sean Farrell, and I'll see you in 2022.